Okay, okay, no time already. Go, go to TCH, buy back all the cake lapis now. Go. I'll tell mom and dad that I made you teach me how to break dance, okay? You know what? Actually, they haven't said a word about it. Yeah, they've been acting so weird lately. Yeah, because they're probably trying to picture you break dancing. Like, Go see him. <laughs> you know what? I can't take this tension anymore. I really don't know what to do about Melissa. We'll handle it as a family. What is this anorexia? I never heard of it before. Dangerous, ah? Huh? I cancel my MMA classes. Okay. Let's decide what to do next. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, I swear. I, I know you don't approve of it, but I'm good at break dancing. I really am. And it's not like I'm neglecting my studies. And when I'm break dancing, I, I feel good. Really good. What? Pa, Michael was break dancing when Melissa fell. You're lucky you didn't hurt yourself. Ah, so you're cool with it. Michael, come. We have to tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand, okay. Uh, oh no, I passed the phone to her so you can... Uh, yeah, you can tell her? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Sama? She can't make it back in time, still in Malaysia. So she can't go to the fundraising thing? <sighs> okay, thanks, so. I'll let the committee know. Okay. Auntie Salma can't make it for the fundraiser. Auntie Mira is going to have a fit. Yep, we're going to be a little short handed, but I can manage. Hey, I'm free. Just tell me what to do. Are you sure? Yeah, give it to me to change. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Why? No more cake lapis. I bought it. <laughs> this, this is my cake lapis. It's my mom's cake lapis. Huh? <laughs> Natika, tolong. If I never buy the cake lapis, my mom will kill me. Oh, your man more fierce than mine. I pay you, I pay you. Uh, Okay, one more scolding from my ma'am. Same as getting ten more scolding. Scold, scold, scold. Every day also get scolding. Next time your mom scold you, I support you, ah? Uh, chef, got chocolate cake? Mm, I'll check it out for you. No way, I don't believe this. We are only telling you what Dr. Baska told us. It's not confirmed. I helped her at the clinic just now, and I think she has lost weight. Baska is only a GP, she's not a specialist. She refused to go swimming for two months, and I let her. It's not your fault, Ma. I still don't understand why Melissa wants to lose weight. Ama, all the girls in my school, they care about their, their looks and their clothes. They like to compare. These skinny models are all over the place. Melissa is only 10 years old. You should be at home, watching her, making sure she doesn't see the wrong things. They're everywhere. You don't know what any of your children are doing. I told you so many times, don't work so hard. You forgot, you are also a mother. Aya, we are the grandparents, we also never see this, ma. What do you think? 
Auntie Mira doesn't miss the trick, right? You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you okay, man? Everywhere, Latika. I'm glad you're here, Lian. I don't think I'm up to handling our lead fundraiser on my own. Isn't Billy here yet? Hmm, surprising, but she's not. <laughs> the way she goes about how she runs fundraisers, you would think she would be the first one to arrive. <laughs> Help me when she comes, okay? Sure. Don't tell me Salma is also late. Oh, she's on the way back from Malaysia, but she says she can't make it in time and she sends her apologies. Oh, Salma won't be coming? But it's all right. Diana's filling in for her. Did you need Salma to be here? Um, we planned this together. So I thought it would be nice to have her around. That's not fair, Pa. Huh? The father looks after the children, the mother goes to work. See, what happens to Melissa? You still want to bring that up? I went to work. Your mother looked after you. You turned out okay, right? Okay, believe what you want. The only thing that matters to me now is to make sure Melissa is okay. Yeah, Shelling is right. Hmm? Uh, oh dear, I I'm late for the fundraiser. Uh, call me if there's anything. Uh. <laughs> Vasco only seen Melissa once. Let him influence you too easily. You think it's okay for Melissa to be 25 kg? Ayah, never mind, never mind. Adam only wants to make sure of the facts first. Ayah, go on. So what do we do now? We are getting referral from Dr. Vasco, a specialist who give us advice. The best way forward, how to break it to Melissa, to counsel her, get her to eat properly. Uh, we need to do all this. Before we begin to do that, how do we know if Melissa is ready to accept the truth? Hello? Nadine? Mira, hi! Hey, hi, Billy. Ah, I invited so many people, ah. Yeah, the fundraiser is going very well. Mm. So, where's the host, Mira? There's nothing wrong with Selma. She's just too scared to face me. I don't understand. Um, she's busy for now. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Nope. Obviously, she knows something about Bhaskar. You think so? Why don't you call her? I have been calling her. She won't pick up. So who's the guest of honor? Everyone. Ah. No VIP. Hmm. Ah. Hi, Billy. Oh, hi. Nice of you to show up. She's very impressed with what you've done. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Um, are you ready to deliver your speech? Huh? In your speech as a head fundraiser of Tangling Ladies Circle. Uh, I yeah. Uh, uh, I don't have time last night to finish it. <laughs> do you need any help? No, I'll do impromptu one. Melissa, can Akong catch you? Akong? You're here. Don't you have to go to work? Not yet. I told my office I have an important meeting with you. Why are you reading that? I'll do my homework later. You are on MC. Rest first. But read other things. Lisa, when I was your age, I spent a whole day thinking of schoolwork. Really? I said thinking, not doing. Akko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You're always so busy. I miss going swimming with you. Marisa, you are so pretty. You have a nice smile. You should smile more. Wow, nice cake, ah. Latika, you make, ah? No, ma'am. I buy from TCH. Is it? Oh, yeah. We make our own cake, cake lapis, huh? 
I supervise her. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I had to get the chocolate cake. Someone bought up all the cake lapis. This looks familiar. Ah, oh, all cake lapis look familiar. Familiar, <laughs> It's the same, lah. <laughs> How is she? I'm going to the office. Bye, Akon. There's so many websites, so much information on anorexia. This is scary. We need to be firmer with Melissa. For now, let's just make sure we are here for her. Your father got to you, right? Maybe he's right. Maybe I wasn't here for her. It's just a phase. All kids go through that. I say we sit Melissa down and... Get... All the experts have different views. What may work for some, may not work for others. Experts, specialists, I know my daughter best. I'm the one who has been looking after her. And so I was inspired to organize this event, sacrifice my time, my energy, to do something special for all of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing hooky. I didn't have any early appointments. Thanks again for your help with Melissa. You only needed to ask me. So how, so how? My speech? <laughs> uh, Billy, this is Dr. Baska. This is Billy, Melissa's maternal grandmother. Ah, Hi. you are that doctor, yeah? <laughs> Thank you for taking care of Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> how is she? Okay. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. Melissa's such a wonderful girl. It's not much of a consolation, but anorexia cases are much more commonplace nowadays. Is it? Not to worry. I'm expediting the referral. A specialist, one of the best. <laughs> we are so lucky to have you as the doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do you like my scrambled eggs? Mm. It's really good, Dad. That's scrambled eggs are the best, right? Oh. Can I wash my plate? You only ate a little. Yeah, how about just a little bit more? It's good. I'm full. Sit down and finish your breakfast. The one! Sit down and finish your breakfast. All of it! Adam, please. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Ma's been busy with the fundraiser. So, okay, I think. I was referring to you, actually. Hmm, aren't you supposed to be studying, young lady? Exams are around the corner. What? I'm not allowed to take a break? Catch up with my best buddy? Two more minutes, young lady. Dinah, excuse us. Ma, what's the problem? I'm just worried you're getting close to your best buddy. Why? We get along great. She understands me. What will happen when Arjun breaks up with Diana? Do you expect Diana to be understanding like this? I doubt it. God, Ma. You're not going anywhere until you finish all your food. Adam, this isn't the way. Melissa, just a little bit more. You say you like my scrambled eggs, right? So, eat! Eat! Why are you all forcing me? Why are you all staring at me like that? Don't question me! I feel sick! Melissa, please. Try to make our dad happy, okay? Come on, Mel. Eat! I don't want! Stop forcing me! I hate you!
Lian, thank you very much for providing the food. Everyone loved it. I'll put these in a takeaway box for you. Oh. Lian, I'm so sorry. I think Diana's a nice girl. I think so too. I'm just looking up for Arjun. He's my son. You understand that? Diana is a simple down-to-earth girl. Yet somehow they're able to make it work. I don't think you or anyone should get in the way of their feelings. I'm so sorry if I've upset you. It's all right. There she is, my favorite break dancer. Can I talk to you for a while? Hey, mom and dad care for you a lot, you know? No, they don't. They don't understand. Sometimes you may think things are tough. But they're really not that bad. I promise. Good job. Well done. We never know when to stop. You have a better idea? Yes. What we should have done in the first place is to do nothing and wait for the right advice. Oh, it's Kalila's coming over. I forgot. Great timing. It's good. Melissa needs a distraction. Hi, Auntie. Hi, Kalila. Melissa is inside. Okay. Hi, Uncle. So, Leanne heard what you said about her daughter? You know how I feel about Arjun and Diana. Yeah. You make that abundantly clear. Look, the main thing is I apologize to Lian. And I think it's okay. How can that be okay, Mira? Now, why are you getting so worked up over this? Uh, Lian is facing a tough time now. She came to me for medical advice for her family. It's personal. What did my parents say to you? Um, hello? That's all. I hope you didn't tell them anything. Melissa, you really need to tell them what you're doing. I didn't ask you to come over for a nagging session, okay? All that stuff you're reading on the internet, it's not good for you. You have to tell them what you're doing. I hope the basket is wrong. We must prepare for the worst. If Melissa is not well, I will get her the best expert. I don't care how much. Your parents need to know about this. Nope. Hey! Please! It's not helping you. Look, there's nothing wrong with me. The years have gone, the pain has worn, but a feeling's in the Yeah.
Lisa, I'm sorry for blowing up at you. Can you forgive me? I'm sweaty. Where'd you go? We went for a run. Join us next time. I'm gonna bathe. Yeah, come along next time. Is that a fitness tracker? Does it count calories? This? This is some boring stuff. You don't want to see this. Count calories for what? Come. It's time for breakfast. Let's go. Come, let's go.